ain't spending on food, but you made a wise investment into your future. Because now when you meet somebody, you can extend your card to somebody that never knew you, and they can have a piece of you on them right, right. there and then. So it's just like a 50-50 chance that they're going to check it or not. But at the end of the day, you played your part by handing it to them. You gave them an opportunity. Like, yo, this is me for I, I go places. This is yeah. me for I go places. Because I best believe we going places. If you, we are going places. You got the ideas that we got. You got the hustle and the strive that we have. There ain't no way we ain't going nowhere. And we young, and we out here hitting the pavement hard. Best believe in a year, two years, you're going to be like, damn, I remember when they did this uh, podcast, and it was just whatever. And now we out here. Now we out here. Oh, now you got to talk to my uh, my agent. My agent, my publicist. You can't, can't talk to me directly. Me like that. <laughs> S- sorry. You got to talk to my people. Most definitely, you know. Um, and I, I agree with the hustle, man. It's not easy. No grinding, no shining. That's my movement. Um, I'm a hustler, man. I'd be trying to do anything, everything, you know, because mm-hmm. I feel like you shouldn't just stop and give up. Um, when you give up, you, you lose. It's like you're losing. And, like, I feel like if you really want to do something, you got to go hard with it. You got to give it what you got. I'm not competing with no other artists. Yeah. I'm just trying to be the best I can be as an individual and um, bring out the best of my talents and stuff like that. Um, there was a time I was intimidated. I was shy. I wasn't able to just meet anybody and want to talk to them and give them my card talk in public and do certain things but these are skills I acquired by going hard and not being soft or scared because when you scared and you you hide in the shell you're going to stay in that shell when you come out you get seen people see you so I just feel like that's what I do and it's a part of my hustling process me and people printing out cards passing it to them trying to talk to people I don't even know hearing yes hearing no Every time I hear no, it just make me just make me want to meet somebody else and be like, here you go. Yeah. You know, that no is just no isn't the end of the world, man. Just because one person tell you no don't mean everybody gonna tell you no. So just keep on pushing, man. Like Yeah. It's funny because I had a, a interview with an artist of uh, L. Lambert. He's a R and B uh singer in the D M V area. Nice. And he was saying that everybody's not gonna be for you. Don't everybody like McDonald's, but you see where they at. They still standing. They still standing. People, I don't eat McDonald's to this day, but I know who McDonald's is. I done paid a dollar or two or more for something that McDonald's has. And McDonald's always jumping. People are always in McDonald's buying their product. So just because somebody don't like you doesn't mean that you stop. That's just that one person. There's going to be, for that one person, a hundred more that supports you, that goes with you, that go hard for you. And you just got to put yourself out there. Because McDonald's wasn't always where they was. If you think about it, McDonald's wasn't always there. Sean, uh, P. Diddy wasn't always where he was at. J. J. Cole, all them people wasn't where they were at until they put themselves out there. So you got to put yourself out there. And that's, I think, one of the number one lessons that I had to learn on my own. Like, I got to, nobody's going to just say, hmm, let me look up We Talk Art. I had to tell them, this is what's going on. You should listen. This is why you should listen. And then they'll be like, okay, yeah, I like this. I'm going to tell my homegirl about it. I'm going to tell my homeboy about it. You can't. I can't just stay at home and be like, yeah, nah. Most definitely, I agree. You got to uh, be that spark. Um, my neighbor ain't going to leave his house and knock on my door and be like, hey, Dio, I believe in you. You got it. It's like, nah, I got to wake up first and tell myself I got it. Then go out here and show the people why I believe I do, mm-hmm. you know, because once, you know, you could talk about something all you want, but you got to give the people something to see. Um, we could talk about our dreams all day, but if we're not doing certain things to walk in that light or walk in that path, it's like, what are you doing? When you making videos or you chasing your dreams, you dip and dabble, you doing certain things, whatever you may want to be in life, you know, sometimes you got to go back, you got to take your time, you got to live it. It's not everybody can talk. We talking right now. But in the process, we living because we doing something that we love. Like, today, just doing this alone has made my day. I feel like I've succeeded. I've already won the day because I did something towards my dreams. I did something towards what I love doing. And that's a feeling nobody could take away from me. Why? Because I made it that way. Mm-hmm. Not my neighbor, not the next man. So I feel like whatever you love, run with it and accept it and make it happen. Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you guys don't take anything from this podcast episode, take that. Whatever you believe in, you have to believe in it full-heartedly. You can't let anybody knock you down, tell you that it's dumb, 
none of that. Like, I've told people, like, yeah, I want to make this my full-time thing. And they be like, but you a teacher. And I'm like, okay. That doesn't mean I can't teach on another platform. I just gave her some debt. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, that doesn't mean because I'm a teacher, I have to be in the classroom teaching. I can touch these children so many other ways. I can show them. I can be a role model. I don't have to be in there telling them, hey, your ancestors came over here on the ship and died and made the country what it is, but they're not going to teach you that. And Christopher Columbus, supposedly, with air quotes, founded the Americas. No, that doesn't mean I'm actually teaching them. Am I sparking them? Am I telling them that they can be all that they can be? Am I showing them that they can be more than just football players and NBA players, that they can be doctors, lawyers, teachers, principals? Yeah, that's still a form of teaching. That's just how I feel. That's tight, and just to back you up on that, you are a teacher, man, like, um, because making videos, making podcasts is a process. Like, a lot of people just can't come and say, hey, I'm gonna make a podcast. I have everything I need and I'm gonna do it. No, like, if you want your stuff to be right, there's certain things you gotta follow and there's certain keys you gotta do. And like, you're teaching in class, but when the students see your art form and your platform out of the classroom, that's still something they can look up to and respect because you're doing more than one thing and you're chasing your dreams in your own type of way. And that's something that they can look up to as well because it's like, wow, she teaches here and she's doing this too. So it's just like, wow, I want to be close or aspire to be something like that or do more than one thing. It's, mm-hmm. it's possible, like, you don't ever let nobody turn you down. Cause one thing I do know, people know, people will talk you down, people will tell you what you don't want to hear, but it come with the game. So you gotta know how to handle that and maintain it. Like, um, and that's, it's, it's not a, it's, Rome wasn't built in one day. So I feel like everything is a process. Even like, as we was talking, building up confidence to speak to people, all that stuff, it's a process. You have to go through it, learn it, and acquire it, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's just the same way it comes when people criticize, talk harsh, or say things you don't want to hear. Because sometimes human nature, we spaz. Who you talking to? What you mean I'm some crap? What you mean my stuff don't sound good? But sometimes we got to really process and work mm-hmm. on those things and get them under control. Because when we in bigger places, we're going to hear all types of stuff. Some people might just try you for fun just to see you on a bad day because they, they know you you winning or they know you getting it. So at the end of the day, like, focus. Yeah. And then also, like, even I have some friends that be like, oh, well, I like your podcast, but it's, you could have did this or you could have did that. At first, I'm like, don't tell me what I could have done better in. I have work. You don't know how much I did. I just, and then I had to think and be like, well, you know what? Maybe if I did tweak that a little bit, it will come out a little bit better. Or maybe if I did this a little bit, it would do a little bit better. And sometimes you just have to take it and, and understand, like, they're not being malicious. They're trying to really help. And that's a hard thing to find, figure out, too. Is it malicious or is it actual helping? That's yeah. a big thing. The way you know if it's malicious to me, um, sometimes you can tell by the purity or if you feel like, or if you thought, sometimes we might hear things we ain't never thought about before. And a friend might say, like, um, know, you, know that person. And even if you don't know that person, think about it. This is what this person said, right? How can this benefit me and how can this work out for me? Like someone might say, hey, bro, I think some of your music is too loud. If I sit back and be like, man, whatever, one day I might have to actually go back and listen to them and be like, wait, dude, this do sound too loud. You know, tweak it, make it lower it. Just do certain things because I'm even on my journey. People have told me a lot of stuff, and I've, you know, and I've, I've adjusted. I've learned that sometimes, yeah, it, it is for the better. It is because they want to see you progress, so they want to see you do things at a different level. So when you, when something sounds rude or harsh or like somebody's trying to make you feel bad, I mean, my number one key: try to ignore that. But at the end of the day, accept everything, because like whether you like it or not, you're gonna hear all types of stuff, good and bad. Mm-hmm. So just prepare for that. And whatever you feel within whatever is being said can help you with whatever you're doing. Apply it in whatever way you know you can apply. Most stuff, most stuff. I like this. This is super dope. I think everything that we're saying is what somebody needs to hear. Like you never like you know when you have moments and you're down and somebody says something, you're like, dang, I really needed to hear that. I feel like this is gonna be. The, the episode that somebody might be down there listening like oh I needed to hear that that's something that's sparked in me to go out and do what I wanted to do uh, funny thing is my mom will always tell me hey Faith 
be the best that you can be. If you want to be a babysitter, be the best babysitter you can be. If you want to be an exotic dancer, be the best exotic dancer you're going to be. But be the best at whatever it is. So if you want to be a professional gamer, be the best professional gamer there is. If you're going to be a rapper, be the best that there is. You're going to be, I don't know, a stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home dad. Be the best stay-at-home, stay-at-home uh, stay at home mom or dad that you can be and you can never go wrong with that agreed never go wrong be the best you can be chase your dreams and don't allow people to dictate who you are you make who, you make up who you are if you live to please people you'll die an actor or an actress live to do things that make you happy like I feel like that's what life's about mm-hmm. I don't when I pass away I don't want her to be like oh that's fake She was a great person, and leave it at that. No, she was a phenomenal woman, entrepreneur, sparked plenty of people, influenced plenty of people, helped as much as she could. That's when I passed away. That's what I, the legacy that I want to leave by. I don't want it to be like, oh, she was nice, she was cool, she was a great mom, whatever. I mean, I'm not a mom, but when I do become a mom, it'd be like, oh, she was just kind of average. No, I want to be A plus plus, 4.0 and more. Like that's the goal. Aim for the best, cause uh, we surrounded by so much negativity nowadays, man. And I just feel like um, you gotta stand for something, or you fall for anything. Stand for something, you know. Try not to just go with the crowd. Try not to just do things to fit in, be among, be like everybody else. Cause it's like, how do I distinguish you from everybody else if you're in that? Yeah, be original, be yourself. I definitely. I don't know, I always grew up being told, like, oh, you can do whatever you want, be yourself, faith. And so I always did. And going up to high school, kids would just be like, you kind of weird. And I'd be like, yeah. But I never told you I was normal. Nobody's normal. And I accepted that. Anybody else might not have accepted that and be like, oh, let me let me tweak a little bit so maybe they can they like me a little bit more. Like, I remember girls used to wear makeup in high school, and I wasn't into that, so I didn't wear makeup. People would be like, why don't you wear makeup? I'm like, I don't feel like I need to. I don't want to. Like, I, to this day, I don't like wearing makeup. It's too much. Like, you don't have to be like somebody else just because that's the going thing. Mm-hmm. That's very true. So remember to be you, man. Be it, be as an original, be it as original as you can be. And I feel like uh, before I used to try to like cling and be around people, I, I had to wake up and smell the coffee. Be yourself. Those who are meant to be around you, they they will come in your life. Those mm-hmm. who aren't, they will be gone. And I feel like you do need those who will cling on to you. And people who appreciate you for who you are and know your worth, they're going to come, man. They're going to come by the flock. They're going to come by, by the, the flock. Vote, and they're going to come. And, they, and they gonna come. And like sometimes it, it could be trials. Because sometimes it's not everybody who says they're for you that really are for you. But at the end of the day, like, you will be able to know that through your own experiences and what you go with, through with them or those people. So... Man, be you, man. Never change, never fold, never switch. So, um, I thank uh, Miss Faith for riding through. You know, this was a good uh, podcast we did. Um, it was. This is actually my first time being on somebody else's podcast. Word. Yeah. That's what's up. Hey, I feel good. Y'all heard that? <laughs> so, yeah, definitely going to share this one, Um, get it out to y'all, and uh, we're going to keep on working, hopefully. You know? Yeah, yeah. We got plenty of things coming up for you guys in the future you guys should check my channel out for his interview that i did with him uh is we talk art 101 on social media soundcloud i'm on itunes so it's we period talk period art 101 and if you're an artist you want to be interviewed hit me up at we period talk period art 101 at gmail.com and we can make it happen we're all about networking and making dreams come true and helping each other most definitely. Uh, thank you for that. Um, I, I know I ain't asked y'all to check her out, but um, I was going to have everybody, her description in there. And, like, I'm getting used to this, too. So being around another creative who does this, like, I'm learning some things, too, from her, too. It's like, always put people out there. So I appreciate you doing that. And y'all, please check her out because she is dope. She got great stuff going on. And um, this is the beginning of uh, more greatness, man. Yeah. Like, it's the two plugs coming together. You got two plugs coming together. Most definitely. Boy, you better watch out for that spot. Yeah, so let's get it pumping. Thank you for the support. Uh, stay tuned for more, man. Please. Please, please. Deuces. Bye, guys.
Nice. That was nice. I liked it. Appreciate it.